So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Thank you, Founder. <sighs> they called themselves our country. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumours started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these Black Shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coastbreakers. <laughs> <laughs>